Hello and welcome to my vlog and website. I hope you found everything you're looking for. If you don't know what my website is about, I review regular season NHL games. And in this vlog update, I'm going to be explaining to you why 2-0 is the worst season hockey. I mentioned this in a previous review I did. I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you. Well, there are four main reasons as to why 2-0 lead is the worst lead in hockey. The first main reason is because that once the second goal has been scored, the coach of that team tries to play defensively to protect the lead. As the coach is the leader and the brain of the team, he directs his players to play more defensively. To protect the win, they generally play more defensively, however this often leads to allowing the opposition more chances and more shots on goal. The knock on effect of this is that the tempo of the game goes down as the team takes its foot off the pedal. This rolls into our next point as to why the 2-0 lead is such a bad lead in ice hockey. The second key factor as to why 2-0 lead is such a bad lead in hockey is the coach's decision and the player's execution. As the players listen to the coach's game plan, they play more defensively, allowing the other team more chances, more shots and more room to skate. This likely leads in a goal. As the players are no longer pressuring the other team, they are likely to score a goal. This rolls on to our next point. The third key reason as to why a 2-0 lead in hockey is so bad is because that once the first goal has been scored by the opposing team, the momentum of the game shifts. This momentum shift causes the other team to come back with extra force to score again. As the team is now worried for a second goal, they are putting lack of confidence in each other and in their coaches. Fear that the opposing team will score again and tie the game 2-2 puts confidence in the opposing team as they are now more likely to score another goal. The final reason that a 2-0 lead is so bad in hockey is that once the second goal has been scored by the opposing team, the players begin to overthink and worry for another goal where they will take the lead. As the team have now felt the momentum shift after the opposing team has tied the game 2-2, Players feel their energy shrinking. This is often where a coach will call a timeout in order to regain the player's trust. However, this does not always work out. As the team's energy has now depleted, they further allow for the other team to come down and score again to take the lead, often resulting in them winning the game. You may just be thinking this 2-0 lead business is a bunch of malarkey. However, We've seen it countless times throughout history. We've seen it during Stanley Cup playoff finals and we've seen it in regular season NHL games. Even at lower league levels such as minor leagues and junior leagues, even Pee Wee, it happens. And unfortunately, the players become their own worst enemy, putting faith in the other team and little faith in their own, which more often than not results in the other team tying the game and then taking the lead and the win. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it interesting. Let me know if you'd like some more of this. Daily maybe, weekly, who knows. Anyway, like I said, thank you and I really suggest you go check out my website in a box here. Time's ticking. Hiya, before I go, I was quickly thinking of maybe doing some more reviews, maybe games, but I'm not too sure. I was thinking, leave it in the hands of my audience, and if you'd like to navigate to my webpage and go to the contact page, fill out all the necessary details, and then send, it will send an automatic email. Thanks.